And new tonight at 6 o'clock, a quiet neighborhood in Whitestown quickly becomes the scene of a sex trafficking arrest. People who are living in the home say it's the last thing they expected when they learned that there was an underage girl who was sold to strangers there. Tonight, we're getting an up-close look at that bus that went down in broad daylight. Rich Van White shares the suspicious activity that a neighbor noticed, and that brought down this ongoing on operation. In this middle-class neighborhood of manicured lawns and stylish homes, sex trafficking is a total shock. Country, corn farms, um... Horse farms, uh, it's the and last place you would expect something like that. Until Whitestown police rolled into the Walker Farm subdivision Friday. A teenager in short shorts and high heels strolling up and down the street didn't look right to one homeowner. He called the cops, figuring she was here casing houses for burglars. A homeowner took pictures while police determined the girl, a 16-year-old runaway from Indianapolis, was driven here in a pickup and paid $100 to have sex in one of the homes. According to court documents, 26-year-old William Lazal collected the money. On Ashani Burnett Cease's cell phone, police found pictures of the naked girl and messages indicating she was prostituted for sex multiple times in the past week. If there was a client in this neighborhood, that's very, very concerning, knowing it was an underage girl or just a client in general. Um, there's a lot of kids in the neighborhood. The criminal charges against Mazal include child sex trafficking and unlawful possession of a firearm by a serious violent felon. Burnett Cease is charged with sex trafficking, child pornography, weapons, and drug crimes. The investigation Whitestown police say is ongoing. Rich Van Wyk, Channel 13, Eyewitness News. Court records did not release the identity of the alleged client in this case, but police right now are sending a warning to everyone tonight. Yeah, in fact, they say sex trafficking can happen really anywhere in any community, and it's not nearly as rare as you might think. It is important for you to know and recognize the warning signs that someone near you could in fact be the victim of human trafficking. So we have a list of all the things that police would like you to study. We've posted it for you online at WTHR.com.